I was recently interviewed by Stephen Bartlett on the Diary of a CEO podcast. And I'm going to tell you, it was an amazing experience. You know, I do two or three, sometimes four podcasts a week. But I can tell you by far, Stephen Bartlett was the best interviewer. Uh, he had done his homework. He had read my book cover to cover. He was very well prepared and asked me questions that really no one has ever asked me before. And I think that was the, that's why this podcast is so successful, because it really gets into our motivations, what drives us, what obstacles we had to overcome, and what's leading us and driving us to keep going and keep moving forward. Uh, but, you know, we had probably set for almost three hours. The final edited version of the podcast was an hour and 26 minutes. Uh, a lot of that was going kind of back and forth, but obviously the way he put that together, you know, some of the things we talked about at the end of the interview, he actually put at the beginning because I think it allowed for the evolution of the story. Uh, but it was an amazing experience. Um, you know, if you like that, it tells my kind of a uh, little bit of history of my own personal story, the motivation for treating my dad when the standard of care failed him and healing chronic wounds and his diabetes and, and high blood pressure when, when conventional medicine failed him, we, we figured out a way to, to heal him and get him better. But really, that's the power of nitric oxide. And I think that's what they reached out to me initially because Stephen Bartlett has said, you know, I'm probably as informed as anybody out there doing these random interviews with people from different industries in healthcare because I've never heard of nitric oxide. And so that was his motivation for having me on because he goes, Nathan, after reading your book, he goes, there's nothing more important than for people to know what nitric oxide is, what it does, and what they can do to prevent the loss of this molecule. So that just goes to show you these people out there doing research, figuring out what's missing. What do people need to know rather than what's trending and what's popular, but really filling in the gaps. And I think, you know, I've been doing nitric oxide research for the past 25 or 30 years. The scientific community, medical community, I think has a good appreciation for it, but the general consumers, the lay people, still there's a lack of awareness. And, you know, the Diary of the CEO podcast, we've had, you know, probably over a million views today just this week. And so we're getting the message out there. So I'd encourage you to follow Stephen and Diary of a CEO podcast. Follow me on, on YouTube. And if you like this, subscribe and share it with others.